In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your GoDaddy domain to your Shopify store. So this is actually quite straightforward. All you need to do is make sure you already have a domain name purchased on GoDaddy. And then what we're going to do is head over to our Shopify website. So you can see I'm logged into the back end here. And then from the left hand side, you need to click on settings. And then in the left hand navigation, click domains. Now what you want to do is select the button that says connect existing domain and once again you need to make sure you've already purchased a domain on GoDaddy. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here and launch up the GoDaddy website and once you're logged into your GoDaddy account just click on your profile name and select my products and then if you scroll down here we'll see a list of all of our domain names. So for this demonstration I'm just going to be using widereachdigital.com so what we're going to do is copy this domain name and then head back over to Shopify and paste this in into the search box here and press next. Now that should straight away detect that it's a GoDaddy domain. And from here, you have two options to either connect manually or connect automatically. So if you press connect automatically, that should take you over to the GoDaddy website. And then from here, you should just be able to press connect and it's gonna go ahead and do that automatically for you. If the automatic method doesn't work, then you can always update the DNS records manually. Now to do that, you just head over to your GoDaddy account, click on DNS next to your domain name, and then we can can scroll down and you'll see your DNS records which is all of these list items here. So in order to link up your domain there's just two things you need to add. You need to add this A record and also this C name. Now these are the current values that we have set and these are the values that we need to change them to. So let's head back over to GoDaddy and if you already have an A record set up then just go ahead and delete this by pressing delete record and also do the same for C name as well. If you already have one of these set up just press the trash icon to delete it and then once you've done that you can come up to the top and click on add a new record and we're going to start by adding type an A record and then we're just going to copy all of the details that are laid out for us on Shopify. So for the name you want to make sure you put this at symbol for the value we want to make sure it's set to the new value which is this one here i'm going to paste that in the window and for the ttl you can leave this to half an hour and then go ahead and press save once you've done that we also need to add the c name as well so once again click on add new record choose from the type and select c name for the name you want to enter www for the value you want to copy this record at the end here and then we're going to paste that in here like so for ttl once again leave it to the default setting and press save. Now once you've done that you can click on the verify button and that should go ahead and now link it up to your domain name. So it may take a few minutes usually it's instant and then once you see your domain here like so we can just click on it and you want to make sure it's set to the primary domain. You can do that by clicking change domain type and making sure primary domain is set and it's really as simple as that guys. If you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.